Hey guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of my Let's Play, 7 Days to Die. This is the vanilla series. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So, what I want to do today is, I want to make the gyrocopter, finally. And, do I have enough here? I don't think I do. What's going on? I need more duct tape. That's what I need. Okay. So, going to need some more duct tape. But, um, yeah, today is the day. I'm going to do the gyro. Going to finish it off. And, um... Yeah, I think I might actually end the series today as well for this particular Let's Play. Um, it's been it's been a very good experience. Um, it's been awesome. I've been loving the series as a whole, and for a first series, I think I did okay. Um, I really think I did. So yeah, so this is pretty much the send off, and I just want to you know address it here. And it's not to say that I won't be playing playing sorry any more seven days to die but i will be playing other games as well with seven days to die so i'm not going to mention much here but you guys will see it in due course so um what i'm actually looking for now is i want some glue i know i have some glue somewhere like i had a whole stack of glue like you wouldn't believe and i just don't know where i actually put it and if i can find it that would be actually really good for me but where the hell? Oh no, glue's here. What am I saying? I had it in my inventory this whole time. I'm, I'm fixated on, on other things. And I just want to make some more duct tape. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. And I also got to make a wheel. Um, what do I need for a wheel these days? Oop. There we go. Wheel. Um, Alright, so I need some coal, which I've got. I need some acid. Okay, so I've got all that. That's not a problem. So let's go ahead and grab required and grab that and I think I needed that and I needed the acid and can I make it now so we can cool all right I'm just gonna dump back the unimportant things back into here uh, all well and good and I think I just want to hang on to those things just real quickly what I don't actually have is um, an engine don't know why I don't have an engine these days, so I'm gonna have to go out and find one. Funny enough. And, right, so what am I making? So I'm making the parts. Let's go make the chassis. Why can't I make the chassis just yet? Um. Okay. Uh. Right. So I need a couple more. I don't know. I have no clue. Anyway, a couple more will do it. All well and good. And um, yeah, we'll. Ready the motorbike. Oops. Come on. Thank you. Alright. So, let me back in. Come on. Thank you very much. And hopefully, by the time that's all done, I can um, go out and find a car with an engine. Um, cool. Let's go back into that. And I still. I oh know. I can make it now, thank God for that, alright. So yeah, we're going to muck around today, play with the gyro, learn how to fly it. I think that's probably going to be the biggest thing for me today. I've never actually flown a gyrocopter at all, so yeah. But the biggest thing is right now is I need to rush out and find myself a uh, engine. So I don't know where, how far I need to travel. I think I, I recall some cars being down this way a little while back, but we'll see how we go and um, yeah so with Alpha 19 coming out um, and it's not that far away from a lot of speculation a lot of people saying it should have it very 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 soon I think it's probably a good time to sort of you know conclude this series my um, stay within series I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and do that a little bit more prematurely than what I would have wanted to do um, but what I do want to do with that is I want to try and at least see up um, board night for that. So I think that's pretty much where I'm at with that. And I'm going to miss doing that on different series. Absolutely crazy. Um, do I get an engine out of this? I do not. Alright, I'm going to have to find another car and try that again. But yeah, so what I'm, what I'm doing is um, I'm going to start a different series just for the meantime until um, Alpha 19 does come out and um, we'll get into that but I do want to I don't think these guys will have what I need I'm gonna have to find like a full car um, up here there we go so yeah so I'm gonna have to find a um, 
just a series that I'm going to do for a little bit, which I kind of know exactly what I want to do. Um, I haven't searched this before. Yeah, that's just whatever. Um, yeah, so I want to find um, a series that I'm going to muck around with, something I haven't done before at all, and that's pretty much my intent with that until um, you know uh, A19 drops. That's did I get an engine? I did not. Really? Okay. Let's um, click around here and find another car or two. Is some cars over here? Um, actually, I'll just go here. There's a few cars here. There's a Yeti here. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Just, just, just stop. Just stop. Stop. Okay. Is there anything? Oh, there's just weights in here. Yeah. So engine is key right now. Whilst that gets, um, whilst the parts get, uh, what do you call it, crafted in the workbench there. Hopefully I'll be able to find myself an engine here. By the time I get back, I'll be able to pretty much go ahead and craft the thing and then we can have some fun with it. That's pretty much all I'm going to do today. Let's just open up real quickly and come on, give me an engine. I need an engine. It shouldn't be that hard. I, got I should have a very high um, salvage operation so I shouldn't have a problem in finding an engine. But lo and behold, I'm actually having a struggle with finding an engine. Uh, geez, wow, okay. Alright, alright, alright. Just, just, safety. Uh, where's my moto? Where's my bike? There you are. Uh, let's see. Is there... Okay, so there's some more vehicles over here. I should find something. Alright. Let's just roll up here real quick. Alright, let's uh, get off and I'm going to have to repair this thing. I, oh, I was going to say I thought I didn't have any repair kits with me. Thank God I did. Alright, let's go ahead and open this. I got a level 4 shovel. That's alright. I think that was just an iron shovel. I don't think that was a steel shovel. So, um, is it worth it selling it? Probably. But, oh, wow. Okay, I'm not getting anything out of this. What is going on? When I really want one, I'm not getting one. And it's always the way. Always the way. Come on. Give me the engine. No, not a battery. I want an engine. Ah, alright. Alright, 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 alright. Any other cars around here? Any other vehicles here? There's one over there. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, got some pills there. Come on, open up. Open up. Give me an engine, please. Engine. No engine. Well, I'm getting a bit of fuel and all other bits and pieces, and not the engine. Wow, this is turning out to be a bit of a chore. There's a motel place here. You think there should be something here? And a nice little skid as I got off, as you do. Alright, oh, come on. I wonder if I just go to the front of the car to simulate that I'm actually trying to wrench for an engine. Like this. Come on, give me an engine. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're going to do this to me, aren't you? Is that a wrecked? Is that too wrecked of a car? Um, yes, it is. Okay. So I'm going to have to try and find a bloody engine. Wow. I didn't think this was going to be that difficult. But if I can find one, great. We'll get out of here as soon as possible. By now, well and truly, everything should have been um, crafted up by now, so no issues with that. Obviously, by the time I get back, I'm just going to have to quickly, quickly get him crafted, and then we'll have some fun time. If I get an engine out of this, Surely, surely an engine has to pop out of this. Come on, I'll be very surprised if I get an engine. It has to, it has to be. I'm getting so much other stuff at the moment. Come on, just, just give it up, give it up. Give it up, come on. The radiator, mechanical parts, electrical parts, but no bloody engine. Come on. Come on, engine, 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 
engine. And it's not, it's not gonna happen. This is not gonna happen. You think there would have been an engine. Wow. Wow, just wow. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to get out of here now. And my crusade for an engine continues. Gonna have to find one as soon as possible. I can't believe I didn't have an engine at home whatsoever. There's a. Do I try my luck with this school bus? School bus has to have one for me. Cool. Cool. Just stick the landing, why don't you? And I got a um a mod, I think it was. Come on, engine. Come on, engine. Give me the goods. Give me the goods. Like the, the buses are always good at giving stuff, and you think it'll give up just one teeny little engine for me. There we go. Oh my, oh my god. Yeah, the Hunter Mod schematic. Okay, cool. Alright, let's, um, let's head back. Let us head back and get this bloody engine. Oh, not the bloody engine. Let's get this bloody gyrocopter. Now that I've got the engine, finally. I've got the engine on my brain here. Alright, let's race ourselves back. And yeah, get this um, gyro happening. And yeah, look, it is going to be sad to see this go. Eventually, it would have had to have happened anyway. Um, you know, being the very first Let's Play of Seven Days for myself. So it's actually, you know, it's good. It's a good time, um, you know, knowing full well that there's going to be a new alpha happening. So, what, what can you do? You know, th these things are not going to last forever. Um, obviously, once the new um, new update drops, we're going to obviously forget about Alpha 18. I think everyone is probably, you know, safe to say that everyone had enjoyed their time within Alpha 18. Um, I did myself, loved it. Um, probably one of the better updates that came through. Um, a lot more stable, to be honest, and yeah, it's been really, really, really good. So let's hope that Alpha 19 um, just adds to the fact, you know, gives us, you know, from what we've seen, it does look like it's going to be a pretty good update from what we've seen, um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. So um, with that being said, look, I think maybe, um, you know, we'll have a decent amount of playtime with it, and as soon as it drops as soon as Alpha 19 drops and I'm able to you know, get my hands on it. I won't, be able, I won't be able to stream it unfortunately as part of the stream team and things like that because I just don't unfortunately have the ability to do just that because of my you know, subscribe account and all that sort of stuff but boom um, unfortunately it is what it is so there's only so much I can do with what I've got and you know once I have the required subscriber amount, then, you know, things like that in the future may happen, maybe Alpha 20, who knows, that could happen, that could be a thing, but for now, um, you know, we'll, we'll muck around with what we've got here, and good, but let's, while we're waiting, let's have a look what we've done so far, you know, it hasn't been a massive amount and uh, I was forever procrastinating and changing my mind with things like that so you know it's all well and good but I'm glad that I sort of did what I wanted to do with this base I probably would have liked to have done a little bit more this just is really annoying at the moment so let's move out of the way but managed to get all you know a nice little garage section here you know workstation crafting over here you know ideally I probably would have loved to have everything you know all moved from um, up here down there kind of thing but you know when you've got other things to do other priorities to ha um, you know to take care of it is what it is so and then you've got all my original stuff here which is all well and good all well and good and um, yeah managed to make some modifications to the base as you can see here which is good entryways both sides here I thought that was pretty neat you know it's just a good little idea good little concept um, and then we've got our board bases here. Um, let's go ahead and suss out the original base that started it all. So this was the uh, Jawoodle inspired base, which was, you know, it actually did well. It actually did really well for the first few um, hall nights that I did. You know, over time, modified it. Um, you know, it is a little bit worse for wear at the moment, but as you can see, if we just jump over here and um, 
make our little stepping stone accordingly. You know, we put pretty much come around here and, you know, um, kite everyone into here and just start blasting them with whatever, whether it be melee or um, automatic weapons and all that sort of stuff, and a little pit of um, iron spikes. So that was really cool. Like, I actually really enjoyed this base. Don't know if I'll make it ever again because, you know, I've done it before and it's all well and good. It's all done. But, yeah, that was a really good one. This was the first, first hall base, actually. So, you know, try to spend my time to try and get this prepared. I was way underprepared for it. Figured I could just stay out here and just sort of, you know, belt the, um, belt the zombies from up afar. But, unfortunately, as it had been, I feel, if I recall correctly, ran out of ammo on all counts. So, yeah, that pretty much was that I guess and um, yeah that was pretty much that and then this was the base that sort of carried me right through up until now this thing here is a solid piece of um, board baseness I guess and as you can see I've got all the, um, the hatches here down to the last few from the last board base and then a little platform here to exit you know I always mentioned I had like a, my, my vehicle here just in case I had to jet off but didn't need to didn't need to, um, which was cool, it was actually really good, and that was the um, the really cool horde base that I had. Um, will, will I make this again? I'll probably make a version of it maybe, just so I can muck about with it, maybe in a different way I guess, um, but we'll see, we'll see. And let's just wait for this thing to open up, thank you very much, and hopefully by now this should have enabled me to waste a bit of time, show you everything. There's a gyro. So let's uh, let's head on out. Let this fella open up for me. And see how we go in launching this thing. And I think the runway, the best runway for me would be here. I reckon. I think so. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's um, go ahead and plop our gyrocopter. Uh, let's uh, do that. There we go. Never had one of these before. So this is kind of neat. Let's just go ahead and fill... Oh, no, you're full. Alright. Alright, now. Honestly, I have never flown this before, so I'm going to try and work out how to fly this thing. And I've been told do not hit E for whatever, you, for whatever is humanely possible. Do not press E. Otherwise you... Um, you eject yourself. But, I don't know, how do I, okay, so C is to stable, okay, cool. So spacebar is to elevate, and C is to descent, that's cool. Okay, Look how cool is that? There we go, we are up and running. Actually, we're not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all, so if I do that, that should that give me better or quicker speeds, or I'm just descending like crazy, okay. I'm dissenting like crazy. So yeah, this is it. Have a look at it. Okay. Actually, I'm doing alright. I'm actually doing quite good. And as you can see, I'm just sort of floating my way away. And it's actually kind of good because you get a good grasp of everything now. I can check everything out from afar. Um, yeah. So that was one way, that was the other way. I can't even remember where my traders are at this point. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Let's, um, let's. <laughs> okay, so it's sort of going to take me a little bit to get used to, but I think I'm doing alright. So I don't know whether it's like a gentle spacebar, C button, to, um, to pilot this thing, just to sort of float about. I don't know. But that's it. That's it. I am off. Can't believe it. Anyway, oh look. Things to look forward to. Can't wait to get to Alpha 19. I honestly can't. And once I do, hey, we're going to have a good time. I think we are. There's going to be so much more things to do. Um, we're going to be trying new things I guess, there's things that I've got, I'm already thinking about that I can do, um, I know 
a lot of things may be fixed come Alpha 19 as to, you know, little exploits and things like that that I would like to do and have, you know, as a setup and things like that. But, you know, we will we'll work it out, I think, and, um, you know, take it as it comes. But as far as this vanilla series goes, yeah, I think we're going to, you know, conclude it and just, you know, taking in the scenery. I know it's just a pre-gen world, it wasn't anything special, so you know, definitely we'll do random gen and things like that. I'm not going to bother with pre-gen, um, unless if people say, look, hey, pre-gen is, you know, is something that we're going to, you know, enjoy. It's going to be awesome. Well, I might just check it out, but for now, I think I'm content with what I've done. And honestly, I don't think there's anything else I could have done um, with this series. Anything else, you know, instead of just going around a whole bunch of um, T5, you know, places and things like that. I just don't think that was going to be interesting enough. I mean, good, but, you know, good um, episode fillers, but there's nothing else for me to work towards, I guess. So, yeah. Anyway, I think that's enough. So, I am going to cycle back, find home base, which I'm trying to find on my, um, on my map over here, which I think I would have gone over this way, so let's um, elevate a little bit more. Because if I don't, I'm going to crash. Going to crash. Alright, cool. Alrighty. So, what I want to do is I'm going to head back. I'm going to try to attempt the landing, and if I, if I can do that, well, that's it, we're done. <laughs> Alright, let's find a reasonable spot. I think I might just try and um, land where I took off kind of thing. So there it is. This is where we called home. A little bit out of the way from everything. I mean, I think everything was out of the way to be perfectly honest with you. So, yeah, there was really, wasn't really much. A lot of travelling in this actually, in this let's play. A lot of travelling. It was absolutely crazy. But, hey, we did it. Eventually, I, fa I finally got myself the, my first proper, you know, transportation, and then after that, everything just happened. You know, I went from a, a bicycle to a 4x4. Absolutely mental. But as soon as I did that, ended up getting the motorbike. The mini bike fell into my lap, literally. And yeah, that was pretty much it. That was pretty much it. Alright, so this is going to be our little final descent. And this is where home is. And honestly, I think I'm going to be okay with this. I'm not going to try and crash it on top or anything like that, but look at that. Nice little, nice little landing. And I'm just going to go right to the front of my base. Ooh, look at that. And there he is. And bam, that's pretty much it, safely off, and honestly I think, actually you know what, for the thumbnail purposes I'm going to grab all my vehicles out, but I'll do that at my own time. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this series, please let me know by hitting that like button, give me a comment, give me a shout out. Let me know if you enjoyed it or not. And if you're new to the channel, and if you want to see things Alpha 19 related, let me know by subscribing if you guys are new. If you want to see any more, there's some other series that I've done with 7 Days to Die. Suss it out. It's a good time. But I think we're good now. And that's it guys. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.